Assalamu alaikum scholars. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. And I know you all were excited for the third session with uh, Sohel Misab. And at the same time, um, uh, we had requested a lot of uh, scholars to send their pictures. I think, I think photographs last time. Uh, I hope you were able to email it on the email ID provided to you. Uh, we'll be dis having our third session on introduction to photography. We have with us uh, Sohail Meer. You all know him already. I would not be taking much of your time. I think I'll directly request Sohail Saab to just start his session. Thank you. Okay. All right, Assalamu alaikum. Um, welcome back. So, uh, time last time we met, um, inshallah. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, a recap of what And uske baad, I have probably 15 students' uh, ke submissions. Hai. So we'll basically talk about that today. Because I, I believe that that um, is the best way to learn, is to learn from your own work. So um, let me share my screen. Just give me one second. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple more minutes. Looks like people are still joining. Okay, so alaikum salam. Uh, I see people chats so at the end of the session um you can ask me questions or agar aap chahe aap mujhe email bhi kar sakte ho assignments ke bare mein main aapko ek baat batau i understand ki um aapka internet um stable nahi hai kabhi kabhi bilkul chalta hai nahi hai so I, I completely understand that so please don't worry about that but i would still request ki jab aap mujhe tasveere bhejte ho just do it only through um my emails um and also koshish karein ki mujhe wo jal se jal mile jab jitna aap se mumkin ho sake um agar aap mujhe at least teen din ka time de de ya i mean do din bhi chalega so that I can organize them. Because I have to download your pictures from email and then I have to uh, put them in my, my Lightroom program and arrange them. So it takes a little time. So I don't want to miss anybody. Whenever I show you the pictures, if there's anybody missing, just let me know. It can happen that your email doesn't reach me. Sometimes people put heavy files in email mein dalte hai, and then it just doesn't get here. Uh, that is a possibility. Kabi kabi aapka email spam me chala jata hai. So that's a possibility too. Halanki mein spam bhi chak karta hoon. So if, if, agar aapki tasveere aaj maine mujhe nahi mili hai. So don't panic. Um, we can do that next time. Huh? Aisi koi baat nahi hai. Uh, so this is what we're going to do today. Pahali baat ye ki hamne abhi tak kya kiya hai. I'm going to really quickly explain that to you that maybe there's a new student in here usko thoda sa pata chale ki hum kya kar rahe aur uske baad hum aapki tasveeron ke bare mein baat karenge and then eventually at the end we i will teach you a couple more techniques abhi tak humne shayad ek hi seekhi hai so we'll try to see how many we can accommodate towards the end and then inshallah if uh, in the next session, 
we'll go and uh, learn more. I hope everybody is able to see me, everybody able, is able to hear me. Um, so let's start. Aapke samne jo screen aa rahe, humne pehle hi baat ki iske baare mein, ki what's a good photograph? Jo bhi mein aapko sikha raha hoon, in Zoom sessions ke through, please understand, ki meri khud ki experience hai, um, this may, some teachers may teach you in a different way, but this is my way of teaching and this is what has worked for me. And I, I seriously believe ki this is a very easy method to teach anybody, just nahi kabhi camera bhi nahi hoga. And also I believe that um, if anybody who doesn't even take pictures, if they, they watch these sessions, they will learn a lot about life. So my approach It is not just learning about how to use your camera, which is very easy. Uh, approach is to understand um, what you are able to see, how you can see that, and then how you can capture that. So in short, the goal is that you लोगों तक एक कहानी पहुंचा दे चाहे वो आपकी खुद की हो या किसी और की हो so that's the idea that's the story you need to recognize the story और मेरे ख्याल से story को समझना और पहचानना I think it is the most uh, I wouldn't say difficult most time consuming just this is the one जिसमें आपको time लगेगा उसके बाद जो भी techniques हैं that shouldn't be a problem so how do I learn how to see a story or how to recognize a story. It's all through um, um, experience, hard work, and paying attention. I think paying attention is probably uh, number one. So what does that mean? That means you keep your eyes open and plan uh, your photo shoots well ahead of time. How do you train your eyes? You train your eyes by piece by piece. Um, pehle aap jayen ki kahen ki chale aaj mein sirf um, un patton ki tasir lunga jo zameen pe gire hoye okay, just very narrow um, subject and then keep adding every day go out um, just pick a new one so I personally believe ki when you do that you build sort of a database in your brain and then eventually your brain automatically starts seeing those things um, and it helps you in so many things. I'm not sure that I have When you pay attention to things, you pay attention to people, um, you will become a better person. Because if you're sitting with friends, you are so absorbed and involved in your own thoughts and own problems, you hardly see what is going on with other people. Because you don't even look at them. Even if you look at them, you don't try to understand it. So I think photography will teach you that. It will teach you how to pay attention when you're sitting with your family, even with your family members, you will right away understand that somebody is happy or somebody is sad. Um, and this photography will teach you that because it will teach you how to see things. And then the second part would be now, once you see a story, how you story ko kaise capture that story, right? Um, and then the third part would be, which is not written here, is basically how do you tell your story? That is the composition. How do I compose my story in a, in a frame, right? So um, we quickly showed aapko ki uniqueness, aapki tasveer unique honi chahiye. It shouldn't be something that people have already seen. We talked about that and we did, um, I did show you like just one, um, one subject. For example, this is, this is one of the monuments, one of the landmarks um, here in Washington DC in USA. So I showed you key how I shot it in so many different angles. And I'm gonna just go through those real quick. So you can see this is just one, one, one monument in, in different angles, okay? So this is what I mean by unique. Uh, like ye tasveer jo hai aap dekh rahe ho ye jo aap front wala dekh rahe ho ye cement blocks aur piche jo monument khada hai there actually is a river it is probably half a mile distance cement block and that pillar about half a mile distance between the two so what you do is you 
align your camera in a way so they get compressed and they look like this is one piece. Um, and I, it is unique when somebody sees it, they know, you know, I don't, they haven't seen it like this before. That's the whole idea, right? Um, we will talk about uniqueness in, in more detail um, later while we are learning techniques. But like I said, I'm gonna straight dive into your work right now. But before I do that, I wanna say a few things. Pahli baat ye hai ki I care about you. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm teaching this. Um, and I think you deserve to learn. So, whatever I say today, aapki tasveeron ke baare mein, aapke kaam ke baare mein, do not take it personal, right? This is my aim and my goal is ki main aapko ek better photographer banau. And I want to be very honest with you. Agar main aapki tasveer mein kuch dekhu, I will be honest with you ki this should have been done this way. So don't feel offended. Again, this is a personal opinion. I could be wrong because it's very subjective. Photography jo hai, ek banda, usko ek cheez pasand aati hai, dusre bande ko, dusri cheez pasand aati hai. So don't take it ki, ab sar ne kaha ki, meri tasveer achhe nahi thi, that means mein achha photographer nahi ho. Don't take it that way, okay? Just try to understand that my goal here is to make sure ki aap logon ko sahi techniques as uh, samajh mein aaye and then you become a better photographer right so that's very very important that's one um number two uh, actually there is a short story mai aapko iske bare mein batau it's very interesting ki how i uh, became i'm not sure if i call myself a good photographer but you know i think i think i take good pictures and uh, i don't want to brag about myself i know there are so many much better photographers out there. I'm not trying to say that. So this is how it happened with me. Actually, it was a life-changing experience. So you will understand, um, I think, better after I tell you the story. When I got my first major uh, photography assignment, it was a huge company in the United States. It's a multinational company. Or uh, through a friend of mine, I got in touch with the uh, head of that uh, organization or unhone ne mujhe uske chief ne mujhe um mere link usne dekhi di kahin par i had a website and that had just one page aur us age us page pe kuch tasveerein thi wo sari kashmir ki tasveerein thi by the way and maybe there were a couple of human um shots people shots in that too but it was mostly nature but they didn't need a nature photographer they needed uh, a portrait photographer so usne mere link dekhi aur he sent me an email usne kaha ki i want to see you so I went to meet him. I'm going to keep it short. I went to meet him. He said, "I love your work. I want you to work for us." So it was basically portraits of people. And it was a lot of work actually. Every week I had four or five sessions, which was really really good. So they kept me busy. Fifth year, five years ago, I'm working with him. He called me again, and he said, "I would like to talk to you." So there was a board meeting. There were like four or five people sitting around and he was right in front of me. Um, and he goes, uh, Sohail, I love your work. I love what you do. But there are some major flaws of your photographs. He said that you're not paying attention to details. Then he started pointing out things. The jacket is not straight. Background is you know, tilted. So he started picking in front of five or six people. And this is something I was not expecting because I thought, you know, he was my big fan, actually. I was never expecting this from him. So you can understand my feelings when he was saying all those things. Um, and that was 15 years ago. So I didn't, I couldn't say anything. I just because I was shocked. Um, so I went home um, next day. I woke up and I said, I have two choices here. Number one, I just walk away. I just say, I'm not working for you. You insulted me and came over. Or I prove him wrong. I fix everything. And I, first of all, I started thinking, why did he say that? Because if he really likes my work so much and he has been so kind to me, why would he say something like that? 
um, then I, you know, I, I figured out maybe he's right. And I started looking at my pictures and I was, he was right. He was spot on. So I said, you know what, I'm going to prove him wrong. And that was the turning point uh, in, in photography for me. Since then, I am so meticulous and I pay attention to details and I work extremely hard. I will never ever post anywhere a picture that I personally won't like, okay? So this is a lesson for you guys, is show your work to people who are honest and straightforward, and of course, who are respectful. If you are posting your images on Facebook, uh, those are your friends, those are your relatives, they are never ever going to say anything bad because they don't wanna hurt you, right? But that's not an honest feedback. It's a misleading feedback. Like an okay sub photograph, they're gonna say, this is breathtaking, this is amazing, which is not true. So you would think that you're taking good photos. So don't get misled by that. So that's the story. And I hope and I pray that in your life there is such a person who is doing your best. This sounds really strange, doesn't it? But it just makes sense. It's extremely important that you fall because that's the only way you're gonna learn, okay? So don't take things personally and, and um, take criticism positively and then you know, work on your images. Having said that, let's go on uh, and look at your work, okay? So. Just give me one second. Pahli picture jo mere paas hai, um, okay, Ek baad mein bhool gaya. if you don't want me to mention your name, aapki tasweer jo hai, just let me know, okay, aapne email mein, but I wouldn't, I don't know why you would do that, okay, it's, it's, it's nothing, you know, you don't need to be shy, and you don't need to be ashamed of anything, maine aapko pehle din kaha hai ki bad picture does not exist, all photographs are good, we're just trying to make them better, right? So if you don't want me to do that, I will still honor that. I will respect that, but I don't recommend it that you do that, okay? So, um, make sure you write your name and you send me assignment. And you don't have to give me a description of what the picture is about, okay? You don't have to do that. Just simply just give me the picture. Okay, let's look at uh, Abdul Bari's picture. So, we rule of thirds last time, which means do not place your subject dead center. That's the only technique we learned. However, is tasveer mein, I see more uh, rules than that. So I like the composition and I also like is jo exposure hai. Nothing is too dark or too bright. That's always a good thing. Um, or aapke jo cameras hai, I think it's gonna be hard for you to do that. Um, kyunki this is, a uh, DSLR in a manual mode can take care of uh, highlights and dark areas. Um, so if your picture is blown or it's too bright or too dark, don't worry about it at this time. I don't really care about that. What I'm worrying, what I'm going to care about right now is ki aap ki kahani kya hai aur aap ne kaise wo present ki hai, right? So I like a really beautiful scene. Um, and in this picture, actually, I like the layers. Aap dekhte front mein green inho ne rakha hai. Or per beach me. Um, these are the mountains, and then in the backdrop we have sky and clouds. So he uh, actually included all three parts to a landscape. Foreground, midground, and background. I wish the foreground was more prominent because it's sort of lost in the midground. Um, so, but he has tried, um, and I think. I think this is a really good uh, first shot. Um, I don't see anything that I could point out right now. So let's keep it, uh, let's keep it the way it is for now. Let's go to the next one. Um, Abdul Basit Najar, in her name, Chartasvire Bejiyan. So let's first talk about this one. Okay, this is actually pretty good. 
or uh, I can see he moved back up to bottom pe dekh rahe ho, he did include this in the shot. This is what I really like. Um, if I go thoda sa, main aapko dikhaun. I'm going to edit it a little bit. So if I go here, I get rid of the stuff in the bottom. You can see how flat this photograph is now, right? That's what the foreground does. More prominent the foreground is, more effective aapka shot hoga. So, halanki inka foreground jo hai, wo itna solid nahi hai, but hai, it's there. And that's how you see that this picture um, is really good. It's a little tilted, which is fine. But I like the way clouds are. I like the way uh, he put two trees on each side and then he put the foreground. In Kiagli Tasweer Johe, that's this very simple uh, composition. I uh, I really like how he placed these roses on roll of thirds. Okay, these are right on one side. If I if I put my rule on there, you can see you can see how it's on this line. It's not in the center. That's really good. This little uh, tree on the right hand side is a little bugging me. I would say if we just crop just a tad, maybe crop it out. This is like very minor thing. It's not a big deal, but you can see um, it's not distracting anymore. But overall, I like the composition. I like the clarity. Um, next, this is this is kind of dark for me. I'm not sure but I see what he was trying to do. Um, I wish it was a little more clearer. Looks like he took it at night. But it's a good attempt, definitely a good attempt. Let me see the next one. Okay, so unfortunately, obviously he probably has shot it with the phone or uh, the quality is not that good, but it's a good attempt. I like, I like what he's doing here. Um, these are these rocks and they're sort of leading your eye into the shot. Ab ye to dead center hai, that's for sure in the dead center. But it sort of works. Uh, agar aapko yaad hai, mene last time aapko kaha tha, that if something is symmetrical, you could place a dead center. So that's fine. But if you really want it, we could also put it on the side like this. That will work too. But I like uh, I like the dead center in this one, which is fine. Right here should be fine. Good job. Okay. Next one is, see who is next. Amin Owais. Okay. <clears throat> so Amin Owais ki pehli tasveer hai, sort of a reflection, and I'm not sure it's either sunset or sunrise, one of the two. I, I really like the lighting, this photograph, man. And it's a really good mood. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out, although not a big deal, but um, the horizon, many apkokata rule of thirds, may right in right now, you should probably be trying to keep it dead center. Yeah, not, not keep it dead center, I mean. So if we come down this little bit this way, let's see how it works. I'm just going to come down maybe this much. So, chunki upar wale hisse mein not much going on from here to here. So we can afford to crop it. So I'm just going to come come down a little bit, just like that. Uh, let me see if it's straight. Always make sure ki aapki tasveer straight hai, tilted nahi hai. It does look like pretty straight to me. That's a good thing. Or, uh, huh. Dusri baat me kana chata tha ki ye tasweer jo hai na, since this is sort of a mirror reflection, 
आप देखें कि ऊपर वाले हिस्से की रिफ्लेक्शन नीचे आ रही है करेक्ट यू कुड प्लेस द हराइजन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस डेड सेंटर जब भी रिफ्लेक्ट मिरर इमेज होती है दैट्स वन ऑफ द एक्सेप्शन फॉर रोल ऑफ थर्ड मीनिंग दिस लाइन कैन बी डेड सेंटर सो इट विल वर्क इन दिस केस But I really like the mood of the picture. I like the the exposure, and I like the story. I'm not sure what is here in the front. There is something really interesting. I'm trying to, I'll just try to open it up and see if I can see what that is. I think some some kind of fountain. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next picture. He has. Okay. This is nice. This is really nice. Um, I'm not sure ये जो गैलेक्सी का ये साइन है इज इट कैन यू गेट रेड ऑफ दिस यू प्रॉब्लम कैन सो ट्राई टू डू दैट एज इट इज डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग इन इट एज इन दजन एड एनी थिंग टू योर पिक्चर सो इन द बॉटम लेफ्ट सैमसंग बट द फोटोग्राफ इज रियली नाइस आई रियली लाइक द कॉन्सेप्ट और आपने जो इसका एक्सपोजर रखा है ना बहुत अच्छा है आपकी लाइटिंग बहुत अच्छी है और आपका कंपोजिशन बहुत अच्छा है इट्स रियली नाइसली डन सो यू कैन सी हाउ दिस गैलेक्सी ए टेन इज प्रीम डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग इज इन इट लेट्स जस्ट गो एंड गेट इट दैट परफेक्ट वेरी नाइस शॉट सो इस पिक्चर में क्या हो रहा है कि इन्होंने जो परस्पेक्टिव दिया है um, it has a story it looks like somebody is sitting and thinking or watching the sunset or sunrise i could never tell if it's a sunset and sunrise i'm not sure if he ever anybody can do that but whatever it is it's beautiful uh, i like the flare ye jo flare aa raha hai sun se and i like this ye jo lines andar ja rahi hai these are called the leading lines and they are getting leading your eyes into the shot i'm not sure ki agar aap thoda sa left ko ले जाते हैं अपने आप को मे बी लिव टू द लेफ्ट एंड मे बी शो लिव बिट मोर ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड साइड दैट वे वी कुड प्रॉबली सी मोर ऑफ दिस फेंस आई रियली वॉन्ट टू सी मोर वेर दिस फेंस इज गोइंग बट इट स्टिल इज गुड दैट्स द ओनली थिंग आई प्रॉब्ली वुड हैव चेंज इन दिस फोरो बट डेफिनेटली नाइसली डन वेरी गुड ओके सो नेक्स्ट है इनका this picture this is a unique shot and i really like it i'm not sure ki aapne ye post processing mein um ye jo effect diya hai wo or ya did you do that in camera because this can be done in camera also you can zoom in and out while you are taking picture this can happen either way i really don't care ki aapne kaisa kiya hai however i really like the tilted um जो इसका परस्पेक्टिव है आप देख रहे फोटोग्राफर से टिल्ट है टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट वेरी नाइस इफेक्ट वेरी नाइसली डन एंड डेड सेंटर परफेक्टली वर्क्स इन दिस केस आप देखें कि इनका जो सब्जेक्ट है बिल्कुल बीच बॉक्स में इट वर्क्स अगेन वाई रिमेंबर दिस इज सिमेट्रिकल फोरो सिमेट्रिकल इसमें अगर हम ऊपर से नीचे इसको काटें we will have same on either side so i like that very nicely done i like the motion in that shot so i i don't i don't i don't think i can change anything in this picture love the lighting and good i mean this is what you do you just experiment with your camera you know it's not going to break aapka camera tootega nahi just just you know play with it and see what you can do just shake it you know jump with it and take a picture whatever upside down jo bhi aap se ho sake try different angles you will never find you will never know what you can capture nicely done this is also a really good photo i like i like the frame this gate so it this creates a third dimension this makes it 3d looking shot so that's nicely done and finally in get this video has same thing with that i will get rid of the galaxy right that and i like the lighting uh, in that shot too not much happening there not not i see i think he has a bike motor i think it's a bicycle right here yeah 
So he did a good job by placing that bicycle in the foreground. So if I go more up here, I will just make it more prominent because there's nothing happening, much happening here. So I'll probably go a little bit more up. So what happens is now we have more prominent wheel uh, of this bicycle and I like it that way. Thoda sa tilted hai, I guess, look, if you did this on purpose, aapka jo tilt hai, I probably you did, then it's fine. But don't do it by mistake, okay? If your, if your photograph is a little bit more tilted to the left or right, fix it, okay? Keep your camera straight. But sometimes if you're trying to do it on purpose, that's fine with me. Like in this case, it perfectly works. Straight photo probably would have been as impactful as this one. Good job. All right, let's go to next. Next up is Farazwani. Farazwani has five photos. And we're gonna start with this. Okay. So, very nice reflection. Very nice reflection. I really like this photo actually, it is a lot happening, right? Isme bahut sari cheeze hain. Aur humne distractions ke baare mein baat ki thi us din jab maine aapko wo instrument dikhaya tha within my kitchen, if you, if you remember that. So same thing is happening here. There's a lot happening in the shot, but somehow it comes together. And I think there's a reason for that. Kinky, how, why is this photograph working? Looks like it's a street shot or uh, everything in this picture is related and it's showing and there's actually a person right in the center. It's a really, it's, it looks like a movie shot. And um, now what we could have done to me, I mean, is it, I'm just trying to see, did you turn it upside down or, this is a very interesting picture actually, because where is that reflection coming from? So, and this building is here. Where is that building here? So let me just flip it. I think he's trying to confuse me. Okay. Very, very interesting. I have no idea what's happening here, to be honest with you. But whatever it is, it's intriguing, um, I think. That see, you know, this is a unique photo. That's why we spent so much time on it. That's what is good about it. So what I, one thing I would do <clears throat> is not much happening, right? So I would have probably gone closer. Um, or if you have a software, we we'll just crop it a little bit. Maybe crop it right up to here. Right up to here. Okay, now what you see here, this is an interesting example, actually, a uh, rule of thirds. Uh, they think I say horizon is dead center, right? And it's okay because this is a reflection, mirror reflection photograph, and it just works. And I'm going to get rid of this too, Tagyab or Zala Dexako. So look at that. Very good attempt and very interesting um, story. I like that. But I'm just curious. Why is some part in the reflection more visible and other? I think probably because of the angle he took it from. Either way, nice job. Looks like it's a snail. Okay, so is this shot, I like aapka, pers aapka perspective in the sense ki jab aapke paas koi chota sa subject hoga, bohat chota. You do not want to take, take a picture of it from about unless you are, come, you are trying to figure out, you're trying to capture in that way. But most of the times up, your goal should be to get to the level, eye level of your subject. This is what happened here. That's why this picture is, has an impact, right? Because they, they don't bend down to see stuff. So that's why when you show something that people normally don't see or don't see that way, it always is gonna evoke some kind of uh, response, right? So that's the whole idea. And we want people to say, whoa, what is this? Nicely done. 
and it's actually very sharp photo. And very sharp, very nicely done. Looks like he has a DSLR. Because uh, I can see the band of focus going from here to here and everything else in the background is um, blurred. He either has a DSLR or a really good mobile phone. Okay, very nice job. Again, perspective, paying, he's paying attention to my classes or he has already learned from someone else. Um, I like uh, I like something unique, and that's what this picture gives you. Very nice lighting, also. Very nice exposure is perfect. Nothing is overblown, or nothing is too dark. This is a good expression. I like it. When you're taking pictures of people, you got to make sure uh, that they have some kind of expression, but at the same time, pay attention to the background. This is not a candid shot. Obviously, aapka subject jo hai, he knows that you are taking a picture of him. Agar aapka aap tasveer leni thi, just make sure that you move your subject so that we don't have this pole coming out of his back right here, right? So all you have to do, just move him maybe a little bit to the left. Um, but I like your exposures again. Exposure. And I would crop it actually, because I don't want to see so much sweater, uh, sorry, shirt. We can just come up a little bit. You probably go up to here. Okay, this is more, this, this one is like more impact. We can see more details now. But yes, pay attention to what is happening in the background. Ye distracting hair, ye jo inke jo bluish or greenish bucket. It's distracting and there's some polythene in the back right here. Um, so all you have to do is just ask him to move. That's all you have to do. But good job though. I like this better, this one. Um, but this one, and I want you to take pictures like that so I can teach you how to fix it. I said, all right, so this one again is a mirror image, uh, reflection, dead center will work fine. All I want to do in this one actually is just slightly align it because it's a little tilted. Um, that doesn't work in this case. So we're gonna come down a little bit on the top. This is a beautiful photograph, very nicely done. Okay, good job, very good job. So let's move on to next is Habib, Habibi Amjit. Okay, sent me these pictures this morning. Um, okay, nice job. Nice, and you're paying attention, and I really like that. Do not worry, don't worry about the quality of your photographs. I'm not sure Let me see if this tells me. If it's a mobile phone or it doesn't say that. 15th go. Morning, 7.20 a.m. <laughs> Anyways, so I like it. Foreground, bilkul sahi. Ye jo samne hai. Aapka subject, ye banta hai. Aur aapne isko rule of thirds pe rakha. Excellent. And then we have background. We have mountains and we have clouds. Um, the quality of the image is not good, which is not your fault. Okay? Because that's the way your camera is. So, but your composition is good. Your story is good. I'm going to just align it a little bit so that it's a little straight. There, there you go. And I do like this tree on the right side job. This gives it more depth. Let me just show you. See how flat that photo is? Okay, yeah, we don't want that. I like, I like the tree on the side. Even if it was just, even if it wasn't that much, even if it was just a little branch, maybe this much. Even that would work, okay? But I think uh, including, agar aapne pura tree bhi rakha hota na, maybe if you had moved a little bit to your right and just include the entire tree, mere khayal se ye zada acha hota, okay? You try that next time jab aap ye sweet loge phir, dusri dafa. Just zoom out a little bit more and include the tree, the whole tree in the shot and then make sure you include that in the shot too. 
Okay, good. Next in key the sweet head. Um, okay, so I would say probably what you saw there, you probably were not able to capture because that's not your fault. This has to do with the camera and lighting at that time. It looks like there is something really nice right in the center. So that's actually foreground is not bad, but it is too bright. So I'm going to go up a little more, crop it like that. And I think this should be fine. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. This is nice. This is what you saw. I can see what you saw, really. But it looks like Apka, the camera wasn't able to capture it. That's always, this always happens. And it's really frustrating. You know, it's the eye behind the camera, not the camera. I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. However, at some point, we need a better camera to capture more details, right? race car driver ko maruti de you know race with this. I don't know insult to maruti. I'm sorry. Or koi bhi gadi jo bilkul powerful nahi hai. Um, they're not going to win it. Even that, even if that person, that race car driver is very experienced. Okay, you will have to give the driver a good fast car. Same thing with photography. At some point to take you to the next level, we will have to invest in cameras. But right now, don't worry about it. Um, my point was that what he saw here, he probably wasn't able to capture. That's not his fault. That's because of the camera. But I still like what's going on here. This is nice. I like the variations in greens and I like the light. Light is beautiful. So again, uh, I would say he probably shot it early morning. Yeah, 7.20 a.m. If this time is correct on, on his uh, phone or camera, it looks like so. So that's good. That's a good time to take pictures. Get up early, even earlier than that. All right, let's move on. Now we have Mashid Ahmed. Okay, please, uh, if I'm pronouncing it here, I'm sorry. So Mashid Ahmed gave me three photos. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful work, Mashid. Beautiful work. And in this particular shot, you got uh, you got everything right, actually. Uh, I like um, there's an action, there is something going on. And then you placed it right on rule of thirds and right in the foreground. I love that too. And then you have awesome lighting in the backdrop. I'm just trying to figure out if I I can find something bad about it. You took it at 10.58 a.m. Um, if the correct, if that's the correct timing, that cannot be correct. Or maybe that is, yeah, that's correct. That's 10.58 your time. I don't know. Anyways, don't forget about, forget about the time. The lighting is good. The subject is good. The story is good. Um, color saturation is a little bit too much. I'm not sure that you have to edit it in the I will just keep it a little bit more muted. Maybe it's my own problem. I love colors and I try to oversaturate my photographs. I have this problem. Um, it sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, So it works with better quality photos, actually, in the sense that if you want a camera, then if you want to enhance colors, it won't be blotchy. But that's okay. So let's actually tone it down a little bit. Saturation, just a tad, this much. Okay, I think it's a beautiful photo. I wonder black and white, it look, you know, even black and white is beautiful. Okay. In ki agli tasveer jo hai, that's also beautiful. I think, I think aapne likha tha in tasveer ke baare mein kuch. So I don't really, mind agar aap kuch nahi lakhoge, because the point is ye aapki tasveer sab kuch batana you know your your, your your photos photo has to speak right 
uh, we don't have photographer don't, doesn't need to tell me what's going on. Right? But I like this. I really, really like this. Um, I guess sunset or sunrise, sunset probably. Or I like how you placed this person in the shot. I said to you first, when I saw you in the Arabal, where the photographer is in the shot. Very good idea to do that. It creates a leading line. I wish, I wish there was a more of him. I wish you, know, you had included a little bit of car too. A more car, actually. That would have been nice. But it still is good. Um, perfect horizon. Lower third, because you kept upper third for these uh, for the clouds. And oops. Okay. So let's open up a little bit. Let me see if I open up shadows a little bit. I can open up a little more details. Very nicely done. Let's go to the last shot and cut. This is beautiful. This is really, really nice. In so many ways. Pahli baat to is tasveer mein hai light. Gorgeous lighting. Um, it says 7 p.m. June 16, 7 p.m. So it's a sunset. Um, so this is what happens. This is what happens when you take pictures in the morning or in the evening. You already have that gift from God, the lighting. You really don't have to do much after that. But what really is beautiful about this photo is the contrast in colors. Abjo boat in a foreground Yampar is blue. And then we have this orangish. These are complementary colors and they complement each other and they really shine. So the angle of the boat is really, really nice. Not only that, in a foreground me, thoda sa yahan pe bhi rakha hai. I think it looks like this gives you sort of a sense of place where the photographer is and also adds another dimension, another layer to this photo. So there's a layer one here and there's boat that's layer two. And there is reflection layer three, and there are these houses layer four. Then we have mountains layer number five, and we have sky layer number six. So this is a six layered photograph, and that's brilliant. Next time you do something like this, the only thing I would probably do is ask somebody to sit in the boat, get one more picture with somebody in the boat. Okay, that will add another element to your photo and that will add more story to your photograph. But this is a beautiful work, okay, great job. All right, next up is Mumin Akbar. I love when people take pictures of very ordinary things. Cheese jo bilkul log ignore karte and they don't pay attention to those. So this is one of those shots where um, normally <laughs> you don't care what this is, you just walk away. So I really like when people do that. So this is a really good photo in that sense. Um, show something unique, show something, and look, this proves that unique can also be very ordinary, right? So unique doesn't have to be something amazing. So uh, it works. Composition wise, maybe, Maybe I would uh, probably crop a little bit from the bottom. This is a little distracting for me. This is too bright and there are no details here. This little spot, so light cut spot. Hai. So we go a little bit more up and we probably crop that. Other than that, I love it. It's really nicely done. Um, so let's see what, um, what you're using. Vivo 1724. Is it Vivo or Vivo? I don't know. So yes, um, mobile phone, that's what you get. I mean, it, but I just want to see what you're able to see. That's what um, is um, you know, impressive about this photo. Taken on July 9 and taken at 3.50 p.m. Okay, 
if you had taken this picture a little bit later, it probably would have been even more better. But not bad. Beautiful. And this is 6.50 p.m., almost sunset. And I like shooting against the sun um, and getting this uh, really cool back lighting, backlit um, subject. Yeah, you know, when you do that, you see these uh, rims of light. I love it when I see that. I try to do, do that too. And this, this is nice, very good attempt. I love it. Okay, next one. Yeah, this is, this is a fun shot we all try to do. And I like it works here. It really works here because I wish, although you had included a little bit more on the top, um, unless you cropped it, Let's see, let's see if we make it a little more darker. Yeah, there you go. Even more darker actually works. Beautifully done. Nice concept and nice lighting. That's what I see in that picture. I think we already saw something similar to that. Good job. Now I'm gonna go back to this picture actually. Rule of thirds, very nicely done. You didn't place the subject dead center. It would have been really odd. Okay, it would not have worked. And you also, aapne kya kiya aapne? Jis taraf inka muh hai, us taraf aapne zyada jaga rakhi. So this gives a sense of motion that this person is facing that way. So I think it works that way too. I forgot to point that out. That's nicely done. Okay, unke baad hai Rabia Bashir. Rabia Bashir, I think you like clouds. Um, many photographers actually um, have that sort of, uh, you know, like for, for, for clouds and personally, you know, I wish I, I did. I'm not a really good cloud photographer. One thing I noticed in that picture is obviously lighting is really nice, beautiful. So it's shot, even though it's shot, looks like, cannot be right. I think you were... Oh yeah, 11, 11, 27 a.m. Yeah, even though it was shot sort of during the day, it still worked. Agar aapne yehi tasveer thoda sa pehle khinchi hoti, maybe not thoda, maybe in the morning or late evening, it probably would have been even better than that. Just pay attention to time and see what time you are capturing these pictures. Unless this this time here is wrong. Kabhi kabhi aapne set nahi kya hoga. If that's wrong, then you know that's a different story. But try to shoot it morning or evening. Maybe camera shake, but it just still works. It still works. I like the colors. Um, this is colors are beautiful, and I like these. Um, what's happening in the lower bottom corner? These are these are sort of like um, um fine art photos she's trying to take and I can see that. Um, I like that. Not many people would understand these photos. But I like I like the layering from here, one triangle, then there is one more triangle here, then there is one more shape, one more shape here. There's one more triangle here and then there is one more triangle here. You see the stacking that's happening? Triangle here, then one more triangle here and one more triangle here, and then one more triangle, this whole blue. That's very effective. I'm not sure if you have but if you liked the scene, it's probably because of that. Just the shapes, the industry is stack up. I like it. Um, I think that's your genre, and if that's what you like, go for it. Um, your beauty plus, um, I think, is your logo, I would make it very small because as you can see, aapka sabse khubsurat part jo photograph mein hai, is cover hua hai, right? If you pay, if you see my pictures on Facebook, you will hardly see a logo there. If there is a logo, it's gonna be very, very small, bilkul right corner mein. I personally don't care agar log meri tasveere chura hai. Not a good thing to do. Don't do it. Agar aap meri tasveere use karoge, just please give me a credit. Magar kuch log aise jo credit nahi denge, I, I, don't, I don't mind. If that's the way they are, that's fine. But I don't try to put big um, logos on my pictures because that's sort of, is, you know, just 
frustrates the whole purpose of showing your images, okay? Um, now, let's go to the next one. Good job. This, this is a very unique uh, sort of, uh, oops, genre, and I, I like it, definitely like it. Next is Rahil Ramzan. Okay, let's see Rahil what's happening in this picture, okay? I'm gonna look at your time, first of all. 7 p.m., I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, it does look like, look like the sun is somewhere here. So if you had waited probably maybe one more hour, this would have been even more impactful photo. I'm saying that because you can see here, the shadows are very coming. I mean, that's not probably your fault. Your shadows have, there are no shadows because of the clouds. So this looks a little bit flat. If you had, if you have a little bit more weight, the picture is really nice. Let me just put it first this way. Exposure is very good. Your composition is very good. You have the horizon in the lower third. Mein. That's exactly how it should be. And I know you saw something. It just didn't capture it. That's because two things. That's because you should have been early. You should have been a little bit late. So that you have more colors here. And the other just look for something just so you could place it here. That would be more prominent. Maybe a big rock. Or actually just pick up a rock and put it there. You can create your shots. Find something that's more prominent. So that would give it a depth, right? So, but other than that, it just it's working. Uh, let me just make it a little darker. So of course, what is the idea really what I mean by that? So if I just try to make it give it more contrast. Make it a little more darker. Okay, and just give more more texture. I'm changing a few things here and there and trying to see what will happen. So if you can see, now we get more details in this shot than this shot. So this basically what we did is I just reduced the light, which means you could have reduced the light by taking a little bit later, right? For us a dark hojata probably would have been even better. But other than that, your techniques are right. Now we have not foreground ke bare mein sikha nahi hai. So next time you take that picture, because we will talk about the foreground. Ke bare mein. Next time we take the, you take that picture, go to the same place. Trust me. Go to the same place. Take that picture one hour later, OK? And place something in the foreground. If you don't find a rock or anything, take a friend with you and make him sit there or make her sit there. So repeat that chart. Let's see what happens. It would be interesting to see. OK. Um, next up is Saima. Saima ki ek tasveer I think that's all she sent me. This is something abhi hamne para nahi hai. This is framing, right? Inhune probably through window or porch or whatever it is, she shot it and she made sure ki she includes the whole window in the shot. Perfect. Aap dekh rahe na kaise ab depth mil rahi hai photo ko, right? Because of that. And there is also a story now. I'll tell you later. Let me first, let me just first take the window out. Okay, let's take that out. See how ordinary this shot is? It has no depth and it is flat and there is hardly any story there, right? So let me just go back what it was. Okay, let's go back here. Now, I like this. This also gives you sort of an idea that person is, let's say, Ajkal, COVID-19, you know, you can't go out. You're just looking through the window. You're either waiting for something or, you know, you're just enjoying whatever is happening outside. So, you know, all those things that gives you a sense of uh, placement, 
where the photographer is jab maine abhi crop karke aapko dikhaya you have no idea ki kahan se tasveer khinchi gayi hai but now you see that and also we have pretty solid um uh framing or uh, we can actually maybe maybe not so much on the right hand side maybe we can just crop it a little bit and do it like that you know what actually it was better the way it was <laughs> so let's see ki aapka time kitne baje aapne khinchi thi 3:47 pm right same thing here aap dekh rahe hain ki kitna shadows bahut kam hai right because it's sort of a mid mid day aajkal summer mein just if you take the same shot a little bit later a little early early morning would be actually really nice i really would like to see how that looks pay attention to your time what time you are taking pictures makes a big difference but great job nice concept and nice uh, planning okay the next one is salman bhat uh, i'm going to go to this picture okay salman is actually trying to keep it simple and i like that i really like that aap dekhen kitni dead space hai yahan upar there's not much going on it's not actually dead because there are lines here i like that i like the way it's playing here i like have these lines are pointing towards it and i like the, the thing in the corner um you know there's not much but i like and i like the details on this one okay i think what you're trying to do now is some sort of photoshop work which i don't mind you play with it that's fine with me even without the the little kid in the shot it was a cool shot did you i probably you probably blurred the background or i'm not sure if you took the shot in the background either way either way it's fine do that play play with if you have photoshop or any similar software i don't mind you know, i i spend a lot of time in in my software but what i want to see is next time jab aap mujhe tasveer doge na i just want to see <clears throat> how do you apply rules that i'm teaching here right so that's what i wanted to see it's okay you can share with me other things too like this i i don't mind that but i what i want to see in your photos also is ki are you learning what we're teaching and are you paying attention to that so yeah and you can do it i can see that you have that eye you can do that good job okay then we have shahid bhat shahid bhat um i can tell is using some kind of mobile phone yeah samsung and it was taken evening time 6:14 pm nice lighting because of the your timing um i like the composition of that shot i'm not sure ki aap isko edit karte ho ki nahi um i would probably not use that much from the top i would probably come down right here right this would be a perfect composition for this shot ab dekhe kaise ab more prominent subject right and then um i like the diagonal line diagonals are always good jaise aise ja raha hai this curving they're always good um, they are very effective in photography and i like where the flower and this piece of grass meet it's really nicely done and i'm not sure ki flower yeah and then you had an added bonus of um this wasp this bee showing up and i like the back lighting it's actually coming from behind nicely done but aapne abhi dekha maine kya kiya is tasveer ko i cropped from the top um now that i look at it <laughs> i don't mind actually keeping cropping it here this would work too sort of gives it a frame on the top too so it can be either way let's actually go do what i did before that's personal taste but i like i like it both ways all right that's good that's beautiful actually and this is nicely done rule of thirds diagonal shot 
Um, and I'm not sure what will happen. I guess I'm going to crop curly. Maybe sort of a square composition, maybe somewhere here. Okay, not bad. Because you have your format, I'm, this may not work. Uh, you probably may want to come, come a little bit more down. But it does, it does look good either way. I would personally go like this. I will crop it like that. Because then I will see more flower, right? Beautiful lighting, beautiful, beautiful lighting. Or sun is um, dead center. Let's actually make a couple of changes to this picture and you will see how it makes um, sense, okay? First of all, I like the blue color of the sky. Beautiful because blue color or orange color, they're complementing each other and I like that part. What I want to do, even though this is symmetrical or have, we can keep it dead center, I want to put it on the side. So I'm going to come and crop it a little more this way, just a tad. All right. Then I have nothing going on. Is your bottom wall portion apka? It's all black. Not much happening other than this little flare. So no details. Um, it's dead space, but the dead space is not helping here much. Uh, sometimes dead spaces create shapes. So let's go up, maybe this much, right here. I like this better, okay? Even though there is more dead space here, but I want some breathing room. We could have actually gone all the way up if you wanted to. We could have probably gone up to here. But you know, now I sort of lose that foreground. I just want to leave a little bit, little bit in. Maybe this much, okay? This is nice. This is really nicely done. And you didn't have to do much. Remember I was telling you, I got up your time, up your time, I just was up, that's sweet logo. You already have nature already gives you beautiful colors. So you shot it at 7.20 PM with, uh, with a Samsung. Yeah, so I, 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 think, I think it's really nice. And in software, we can probably, um, you know, enhance it a little bit, maybe a little bit more color, vibrance, see that? A little bit more exposure maybe. But other than that, it works. So pay attention to, so now the, the, the thing is how, just go back to what it was. Yeah, so all you have to do is here, either zoom in if you had that capability or just walk a little closer and get rid of this or pan up, show more sky. Pan up, show more sky than and less black. You could have done that too. Try that next time. If you have a similar, similar uh, scene, just pan it up and uh, get rid of some of the dark area. Okay. All right, this is a very simple con um, subject, but beautifully done. Why? How flat is that photograph? You know, we have no, you know, it's pretty flat. What makes this picture is this, this wall makes that picture, okay? It is your foreground. I keep telling you, write it down on your wall in your room, foreground. I mean, this is what makes photograph pop. So it's a really good example of that. Now we have a layer, second layer, third layer in the background, and it all works. Beautiful house, um, but very nicely, very nicely taken. Okay. Move on. I'm going to skip because you got lots of images. Um, I'm going to, this is also really nicely taken by the way. Horizon is right here. You put the foreground right here and then, then you got the back too. Nice concept. This is a beautiful, this is a really nice photograph by the way. Beautifully done. I love colors. I love, I love how you place these pieces of grass 
in and then you shot through it and i probably just make it a darker see what happens excellent i'm going to skip that i'm going to skip that so that we can see the last picture okay this is good um nothing special about it right you will have to agree with me just just a flower i think i'll push right if i'm not wrong um probably it is what i like about this is obviously the the colors you have a little bit um what do you call it yellowish and then green on, on the green and the shapes but some of your work is is very creative yeah. this one is really nice i like that let's go back to the last set which is by Shmael Shafi. Okay, she got a bunch of photos here. And I'm going to go through some of these. Right. Excellent concept. Um, backlighting, very bold. Um, maybe the timing not right. Let's see what time you took it. 11 27 a.m right so that's midday um same picture in early morning late evening would be even better however i what i look at it now more i like it um i like i like this in the back right here in this corner and then you have this and then you have sun so this is not a pretty sun right you can agree with me you'll have to agree with me this is not a pretty sun it's just a blob of white but it still works but what if this was a sunset what if this was a sunrise? What if there were clouds, right? You can imagine how you can make this picture even better by thinking about those things. How do I add more layers to it? Remember more layers, more content means more story. More story, more effective, okay? So I'm going to sort of uh, add a little more color, I guess. Your colors got washed out because of the sun. It just washed your colors. This may better be black and white. <laughs> See, it looks even cool in black and white also. But um, nice concept. I'm gonna move fast because this is similar. Oh, one thing I wanna tell you, by the way, to everybody, when you're taking pictures, please make sure to up straight up na camera, point na kare sun ki taraf especially jab midday wala sun hoga sunset sunrise is normally a weak sun that's not a problem lekin agar aap din ko aise karoge na two things can happen aapka jo camera ka lens jo hai na it will just burn <laughs> and guess what what is behind that lens your eye right you can damage your eyes too so never point your camera towards the sun like that. Uh, so that's something that you gotta be careful about. Your photos are great though. I'm not trying to say that, but it's just a tip, safety tip. This is a beautiful picture. It's really, really nicely done. I love the lighting. I keep saying, actually I have a class about lighting. We probably will mention that. I keep talking about lighting. Lighting is key. And morning, evening, see, this is 7.25 p.m. That's why it's so good. So you can see that. I love horizon. I love the bird actually made it, added one more element. I love these things on the side. I may not, I probably don't like this too much, this one here, but, but it still works. You get the next shot. This is beautiful. Slightly out of focus, but very pretty. Very interesting concept. I don't know what's in the back, the circle, what the circle is. Um, that's good. This is nice. So let's actually place Aapki Ye Wali or 
ये वाली तस्वीर हम साथ साथ रखते हैं आप देखें ना आप ये तस्वीर और ये तस्वीर सी द डिफरेंस इज यू आर मिसिंग फोर ग्राउंड हेयर ओके इफ आई इफ देर वॉज समथिंग इफ ये जो आई डोंट नो वट दिस इज एट द बारम अगर आप थोड़ा सा पीछे चले जाते हैं मे बी इंक्लूडेड पार्ट ऑफ दैट टू इट प्रॉब्लम वुड है बेटर बट इट स्टिल डज वर्क वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस दिस इज ब्यूटिफुल दैट्स नाइस um lighting is just just beautiful in that shot kashmir mein rainbows bahut hoti hain i love that let's see what you did here um aapne ye tasveer 735 93 june I don't. Thought of some isko fix karta hu. I think this is this is just slightly tilted, just slight tilt. So I'm gonna just fix that tilt, just like that. Um, and maybe come down just a tad from the top. There you go. Other than that, it's beautiful, beautiful reflection, a nice lighting, and quality of the picture is not your fault because you know you're not shooting with an expensive camera. but i like your composition and i like um i like what you saw and you thought that was good and the rainbow is priceless nicely done very good beautiful very nice lighting very nice lighting and i i think this works agar hum isko software mein thoda sa fix kare uh this probably would be uh maybe maybe a little more brightness in the foreground this is not possible for you to do that with your camera i was just thinking what would happen but i like the way it is actually let's see what else could you could you have done here not much this is a very unique scene actually then you oh this is nice i i really like this one this is beautiful we can do the same thing with this picture jo humne pehle kiya tha um i think there's too much black at the bar right not telling us much so we can go a little more up like this and we crop it like that aur aapne jo side mein ye rakha hai i love that this gives it a depth right pay attention to that look agar main ye nikalun see how flat the picture is So see what's on your right side. See what's on your left hand side. See what's at the bottom. We're going to talk about those techniques after this. Beautiful. She found something and she just took, you know, kept going. Beautiful. Very nice. Nice work, everybody. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I probably did. I, did I miss anybody? Okay. send me an email send me an email and tell, let me know that hey i sent pictures but you didn't show them um but trust me and i check my email thoroughly and make sure i don't miss anybody so that was the review of your photos what um now i understand ki aap you can do it every single photographer जो जिन किया अब भी मैंने तस्वीरें देखी हैं। I can see that you have it and you are picking up uh, on the pointers that I'm I'm giving you or maybe some other people have talked to you about it. Um, I would love to see more work from you. I would love to see actually the techniques that I teach you. Uh, apply those techniques. और जो भी मैंने आपको अभी कहा कि इट्स रे बिन डन दिस वे और दैट वे गो आउट एंड रिपीट दैट शॉट go out and repeat that chart and try it the way i told you and see what happens you can resubmit the image you can tell me hey this is what i shot last time you told me to do this and i did this i would love to see that you don't have to do it but i would love to see that right so that was your review now let's go back to couple more techniques uh before we uh because we are already Um, hour and a half into this okay i'm going to just talk about one more technique which again is foreground 
इसके बारे में हमने पहले बात की हुई है एंड नाउ दिस टाइम पे अटेंशन टू फोर ग्राउंड आई नो आई एम नट सबार इट बट यू नो आई थिंक दिस इज दिस इज ह्यूज राइट सो फोर ग्राउंड इज बेसिकली एवरी एवरी लैंडस्केप हैज थ्री पार्ट्स इट हैज अ फोर ग्राउंड मिड ग्राउंड एंड अ बैक ग्राउंड एंड ट्राई टू मोस्ट ऑफ द फोटोग्राफर्स दे मिस दिस वन okay they straight go it's a mountain they cut clouds they okay they just take a picture of that and they 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 completely forget that there's something right in front of them that really can make or break this photo okay so last time i did show you ki see how flat that picture is right and then if we go and add a foreground to that this now is has more impact and has more depth right and then more story uh, so next one maine aapko dikhaya tha ye this was taken from top of a building very flat not a bad shot but agar main thoda sa piche jaun couple inches and I include the window jahan se li thi now we can all of a sudden see um the difference between the two photos right it's huge same same landscape same place but much more compelling i say ye gulmarg without these flowers in the foreground it would have been a pretty flat shot another shot of gulmarg this dal lake jo maine last time aapko bataya tha this was actually like this and you can see the difference between the two and here um move back this is this i took i was standing in front of these chairs these chairs and i took this picture then i moved behind the chairs and you can see the impact what foreground does right so to me it looks like most of the people here are nature photographers but even if you are people photographer i would love to see that too um uh, your people pictures uh i know people picture mein ek cheez hoti hai ki should i share that you know because these will end up on youtube um do you want to show pictures of people make sure you ask them hey this is what's going to happen is it okay with you right just get their permission <clears throat> i think that would be a fair thing to do but i don't mind um teaching you a uh, few things about people photography too so what you do is my request is go out use rule of thirds um use foreground uh, in your shots and use anything else that you probably have already learned and uh wo log jinhone tasveer mujhe nahi di thi because we have 65 or 68 students were there obviously only 12 baki logon ne nahi bheji thi which is fine i can completely understand because it's not possible for everybody to send photos but you can learn from the reviews right jo hum baat kar rahe hain you can learn from these reviews what i would really love which is now possible is a discussion for example you could talk back to me and say um ji maine aise kiya tha and i couldn't do this how do i do this you know that may not be possible right now but inshallah at some point we will try to do that we will have just one class where we just have discussion you can just talk to me okay so that um we can understand these things better but i think uh, we are hour and a half i think we should stop so go ahead um get more shots and get those to me as soon as you can give me some time to put these together okay you don't need to write any comments you just simply say here are my pictures that's all you need to do agar maine aapki tasveer aaj nahi dikhai i'm so sorry that's because i never got it um send it again and let me know okay so thank you so much bahut 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 shukriya stay safe take care of yourselves um and back to you sir thank you so much sir uh, i think this was one more amazing session that we had i think and at the same time what is fascinating is i could see a lot of wonderful pictures that they have shared yes i think yes. they have learned more than what i could learn from the sessions but really amazing to see that and i i would like to mention that we are we are continuing this uh, process of uh, you know getting introduced to photography world and understand it deeply 
and for all the scholars who haven't shared their pictures till now you can do it now it is uh, not that you cannot as as well as i've said that we'll have one session where you guys are going to talk about you know your inhibitions you know what are the limitations that you face while shooting it up uh, so all these things can be done in coming time but for now we are going to stop here and uh, we'll definitely see you maybe <clears throat> uh, after two weeks again uh, with with more techniques so for today thank you so much elsa and thank you so much everybody who has been attending yes. uh, today and for all the people who have participated and sent all the wonderful pictures those pictures were really amazing thank you so yeah. much so i would give final thoughts to elsa and we'll wrap it up yeah yeah again one more time maine bahut sari photography seekhi hai from students like you to be very honest with you even you know the best way to learn is teach and um i don't mind agar mujhe a beginner photographer koi cheez sikhaye you know you know i welcome because this is art and uh, same thing here we learn from each other that's the idea behind sharing please share don't be ashamed don't be you know share as much as you can right um if you don't want me to mention your name i'll be more than happy to do that but i don't i don't recommend that you do that be bold you know just come forward and show your work and be 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 proud so nobody is going to tell you this is a bad picture that's not never going to happen okay all right thank you so much bio khuda sawal very very shukriya take care of yourselves khuda khuda